Hi, I'd like to give you a quick demo of FM Chat, a scriptable chat client within FileMaker that lets you talk about your data without leaving your database. So when you're working and someone has a question about your data, you get notified. Hey, looks like we got a message. Uh, okay, Fred sent us a message. Uh, he's asking us uh, to take a second look at something. So let's respond to Fred. Uh, the great thing about FM Chat is you can chat with anybody on your FileMaker network, whether they're in the office or out of the office. If they can access your FileMaker database, uh, they can chat with you. So it looks like he wants us to take a look at this attachment, which I can do by simply clicking on the link. I'm going to click Open to open the attachment, and it's going to open this PDF in my default PDF viewer, which happens to be Preview here on the Mac. So we can take a look at this attachment. Um, I don't really know if uh, that person was supposed to get a different discount. So I think in this case, we want to bring in some more expertise. Uh, I know Susan here in the office knows a little bit more about this stuff than, than both of us do. So I'm going to ask her, uh, see if she can lend a hand. So all I need to do is go up here and click on Add More. Find Susan in the list of users, which you'll notice she has online next to her name. So she's actually online right now. We can click on her name, click Add, and she's now part of the chat. Now that Susan's joined the chat, she can actually see the entire message history. She can see any attachments that have been sent in this chat. And of course, she can join the conversation too. Oh, in fact, it looks like she just uh, responded. She's asking what's going on. So let's fill her in on the situation and get her to take a look at that attachment that Fred sent originally. Now, she could just click directly on the attachment download link in the message itself, but if there's a lot of messages and she doesn't want to search through all those, uh, there actually is a better way. You can click on the attachment pane to the right of the message window. So let's do that. Let's go over to the attachments button here. And in this pane uh, is the list of all attachments currently in this chat. Uh, when you click on the attachment, you can either save it to your hard drive or open it directly in whatever native application that document type would be opened in. So let's click on the Members tab again so we can see the user's statuses and find out what Susan has to say about our question. Oh, looks like she's responded. This is great. She's actually included a link that's going to take us to a record in the estimate solution. With FM Chat, you can actually teach it to run scripts in any of your FileMaker databases. So let's click the link and make that necessary change to the estimate record. You can see it opened up a new window, took me directly to that estimate record that she referenced, estimate 3. Now I can make the change, close that window, navigate back to our chat, and the problem is solved. Because this is done natively in FileMaker, I want to respond to them to let them know that this is taken care of. Because the data is saved as long as you want it to be, you can reference this at any time. So anybody coming into this chat or viewing this chat to see what had happened, they can come in and see, okay, Fred asked the question, uh, Susan gave us the answer, and Dan fixed the problem. Some of the other advantages that being native FileMaker brings us is it actually respects your access privileges. You can chat with any user on your FileMaker network. Uh, it's, of course, fully customizable and bolts onto your existing FileMaker solution. And the best thing is, when you're not using it, it gets out of your way and lets you focus on your data.